How much would you give to passively lower your cortisol, adrenaline and blood pressure and boost your immune system at the same time? Sounds cool, eh? It's totally free and mind-blowingly easy. The short answer on how to do this is go spend time in nature. Surround yourself with trees and plants, go around and breathe. The long answer, well, here it goes. So everybody kind of knows that going out into nature is good for you and your health. I knew that, but I can only speculate why this is the case. Is it the clean air? Is it the color green with its effect on the autonomic nervous system? Or the soft ground? Or the noises of the leaves and the wind and the birds that sing? Those are probably all true and do something with you. But in my research I stumbled upon something that I've never heard of before. The positive effect of nature on the human body is called the biophilia effect. Biophilia means love for life and stems from the German-US-American psychoanalyst Erich Fromm. And that there are certain mechanisms behind it was speculated by the evolutionary biologist Edward Wilson from Harvard University. Humans are part of nature, they develop in nature and they do actually need it. This sound very interesting. And it all seemed to revolve around the topic of communication. That there's a lot of communication going on in nature was first introduced to me by the book The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wohleben. There's also a documentary about this book. In it, he explains that there's actually exchange of information between plants. Trees can talk to trees. Well, it's not so much talking as we imagine it. It is sending out information that is received by another tree and followed by a reaction if need be. For trees, it is extremely important to work and act as a team, because together it is much easier to fight off diseases or strong winds. They even share nutrients over fungus networks around their roots, so that everybody gets the amount they need. Team, team, team. If a tree is attacked by a bug, it can send out this information to other trees to warn them, and it can even call the animal that eats the bug. I know it sounds super weird if you hear it for the first time. Trees talking to other trees and animals sounds more like a fantasy novel, but it is actually researched and it does make sense. When honeybees can communicate the location of pollen and nectar to other bees, why should plants fight their battles alone? So now, how do they communicate? Well, there is this book called The Biophilia Effect by Clemens Arvey, which gave me insight in this topic, which I then further researched. Plants can communicate through a snapping and clicking sound in their roots, which we cannot hear but the substances they use to interact with each other are called terpenes. It's a chemical compound. They are what gives essential oils their smell. For example, roses or peppermint. Sometimes humans can smell it and sometimes not. They float in the air and logically, the more plants that are around you, the more terpenes there are. And sometimes they're even visible. Occasionally in the summer, you can see a bluish mist or haze over a forest. That's them. Their density is the highest in forests with mostly conifers. That's a biological order of trees which contains most pinewood trees. Now here is where it gets a little spooky but really cool. These terpenes do not only communicate with other trees and animals. When you inhale them, your body does something with them. Your immune system and hormonal system react to them. 20 minutes outside with plants around you can effectively reduce your stress hormones. One day in the forest reduces man's adrenaline level by 30% and women's adrenaline level by 50%. As a comparison, a stroll through the city has no positive effect on your adrenaline levels, even a negative one if it is too noisy. They activate the vagus nerve, the parasympathetic nervous system, which is, roughly said, used for regeneration, rest and digestion. One day in the forest can also increase your natural killer cells by around 40% and increase their activity. What are they? They respond to virus infections and tumor formations and are an important part of your immune system. This effect of one day in the forest will last about a week. Two to three days in the forest will last about a month. Now these are crazy numbers. I was super skeptical when I first heard them. But in Japan, a form of natural therapy called Shinrin-yoku, which means forest bathing, is an officially acknowledged method of disease prevention and supportive treatment. Hmm. Next to the immune system, it improves the cardiovascular system, decreases blood pressure, improves the wake-sleep cycle and reduces aggression, depression and stress in general. Ooh. 
A systematic review in 2017 found general health benefits, but not enough to establish clinical guidelines or prove causality. Another systematic review in 2020 showed that forest therapy plays an important part in preventive medicine for all age groups. But they all agree that more research needs to be done in this field, and it's not a replacement for conventional medicine. Phew, I had no idea how big this was. So what conclusion can be drawn from this? It's not 100% clear what exactly causes these health benefits. I think it's a combination of many elements. When you walk into a forest and get that typical foresty smell, the terpenes surely do their thing. But the association with this is clearly more positive than, for example, the exhaust fumes of traffic in a city. It's much more quiet in the forest and you don't have to be on the constant lookout for cars and bicycles running you over. Well, sometimes there are bicycles in forests. In the forest there's not much to do other than just being there and walking around. But in your home there's always something to do and there's always an activity to choose from. Nature is a welcome distraction for your hectic everyday life. So if you want to do something for yourself, go out in the forest. Well I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. See you soon.